हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी थ्री न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ वेक्टर फील्ड नाउ ऑल द थ्री न्यूमेरिकल्स आर वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चंस क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 इज फाइंड द डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ वेक्टर r एंड माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स एवरीवन नोज दैट वेक्टर r इज अ पोजीशन वेक्टर so this vector r which is nothing but position vector we know how to write this right in terms of x y z this position vector r is written as x i x coordinate plus y j plus z k in many numericals we have seen this right this is called position vector three dimensional position vector and now here we have to find divergence means here it is a we will be having del operator this del operator is nothing but i do by do x Plus j i cap do by do s plus j cap do by do y plus k cap do by do z. This is the del operator. And my dear students, the dot product of this del operator with this vector is nothing but divergence. So let us find this dot product. Therefore, this del operator dot product with this vector r position vector is equal to. Now, my dear students, in dot product the coefficients are multiplied, na? In dot product the coefficients are multiplied. Means x will multiply with do by do x, y i j k coefficients will multiply with each other, y will multiply with. Let me highlight with another color. The y will multiply with do by do y, and then the next is this z will multiply with do by do z. And my dear students, and addition of this all we have to do. Means here how to write do by do x of x plus do by do y plus do by do z of z. And here, see, differentiate x with respect to x means do by do x of x is nothing but one. Therefore, it will become one. Similarly, differentiate y with respect to y, it will become one. Similarly, differentiate z with respect to one uh, z, it will become one. Therefore, this del dot r, del dot r, which is nothing but divergence of vector r, will be equal to three. This is your answer for the first question. Now, let us understand the second question. Now, second question is find the divergence of vector A at one comma two comma one. Means they have given here vector field. You can see they have provided us one vector field here with vector A in terms of x, y, z. Means it is a three-dimensional vector field. That's why they have given 3D point. That is x is equal to one, y is equal to two, and z is equal to one. At this point, we have to find the divergence of this vector. Now, my dear students, how to find divergence? See. It is del operator. It is vector operator in do by do x plus j do by do y plus k do by do z. This is your del operator dot product with vector a. So let us write the vector a, which is nothing but x square z i cap minus two y square z square j cap plus x square y square z k cap. Right, and my dear students, just now we have seen in case of dot product, the coefficients will get multiplied. Means here, here if I want to tell you this do by do x will multiply with this x square plus z x square z. This do by do y will multiply with this minus two y square z square, and this do by do z will multiply with x square y square z, and they and these all multiplications will be added. So let us write down here. Therefore, this divergence will get do by do x of x square z plus do by do y of minus two y square z square plus do by do z of x square y square z, which is equal to. Now differentiate. Here it is a partial derivative. Curly, you have a curly x means do by do x. It is also pronounced as curly by curly x or do by do x means it is a partial derivative. Means here. For this x, only x square is variable, z is constant. Therefore, derivative of x square is 2x into z. Here, this 2x will be the derivative of x square, and z is there, constant is there. Plus, similarly, for y, here y square is variable, z square and minus 2 are constant. Therefore, let us put these constants. Minus 2 z square is a constant. Now, what is derivative of y square? It is 2y. Derivative of y square will be 2y. Therefore, 2 into 2. This two into two will become four, right? So here I will write minus four. Here it will become minus four z square y. Similarly, 
here z is only variable x square and y square are constant for the z that's why the derivative of z is 1 and this constants plus x square y square this will be the here gradient of vector a this is the sorry divergence here we are finding divergence now gradient is calculated for only scalars and divergence is divergence is calculated for vectors but it is dot product right now my dear students here they have given the points now let us put these points here let us put these points in this calculation then we will get our final result therefore here they are asking to put point is 1 comma 2 comma 1 means the point is nothing but x y z therefore x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 1 so let us put here therefore it will become 2 into 1 into 1 minus 4 into 1 square into 2 plus 1 square into 2 square so it will become 2 minus 8 plus 4 which will be equal to minus 2 therefore here the divergence of vector a will be equal to minus 2 and my dear students in the divergence we have learned this concept if divergence is positive then the strength of field is increasing and if divergence is negative the strength of field is decreasing here we have vector a is a field vector a is a field any field it may be a, any field right and it is a three dimensional field right this vector a it is a three dimensional surface we will get and my dear students at this particular point this field is decreasing or strength of the field is decreasing because divergence is negative means at 1 comma 2 comma 1 the strength of strength of field is decreasing is decreasing now you can consider any other point if i consider any other point and if this answer comes positive then strength of field is increasing if this answer comes zero then the strength of field is constant likewise you can understand now let us understand the third question now in the third question they are asking show that divergence of r power n vector r is equal to n plus 3 r power n now my dear students here vector r we know that now they are asking to show you this condition this condition is very much important at the end you have to remember this result so that if there is anything other question that is r power 4 r power 5 r power 7 they can ask directly so with the help of this result you will directly answer your question right so let us prove this now here we know that the vector r vector r is nothing but xi position vector na yj plus zk this is a vector r therefore here r power n is r is nothing but magnitude of vector r so let us find first this magnitude therefore what will be the magnitude of vector r magnitude of vector r will be equal to under root of x square plus y square plus z square which can be also written as x square plus y square plus z square power 1 by 2 under root means power is 1 by 2 now but we have to find here r power n we have to find here r power n therefore r power n will become equal to see x r is x square plus y square plus z square power 1 by n it is a r sorry 1 by 2 1 by 2 it is a r right and power n means here there will be a power n powers will get multiplied therefore n by 2 power will be n by 2 right now my dear students let us go here now let us find this del dot r power n into vector r therefore if i find divergence of r power n vector r i can write now del operator is nothing but i do by do x plus y i j do by do y plus k do by do z this is a del operator dot product r power n now let us put the vector r also let us put here vector r right which is nothing but xi plus yj plus zk right into xi plus yj plus zk this is a vector r now my dear students whenever required then we will put this r power n at the end because unnecessarily the length of the writing will increase so whenever this r power n required to put then we will replace this r power n with this value right so let us find in terms of r power n therefore here see what will happen here i coefficient will get multiplied j coefficient will get multiplied and k coefficient will get multiplied and addition of all these and this r power n is in multiplication with x y as well as z 
right so here it will become do do x of here r power n x plus do do y of r power n y plus do do z of r power n z this we, we will get now let us put the value of r power n because here in r power n there is a x term y term as well as z term therefore here we have to differentiate the product we have to differentiate the product see we have one uv rule that is d dx of d dx of uv where u is a function of x v is also function of x then by this uv rule how to find first of all we will keep first variable as a constant u as a constant derivative of v that is dv by dx plus second variable constant derivative of first that is du by dx this is a uv rule and this uv rule we have to apply everywhere in all the three conditions we have to apply this uv rule so let us put this value of r power n then you will understand here therefore this del operator del operator dot product with r power n r bar or r vector is equal to now it will become do do x of r power n is r power n is it is x square plus y square plus z square power n by 2 into x plus similarly we can write do do y of again r power n is x square plus y square plus z square whole power n by 2 into y similarly let us write for here z that is do do z of x square here x square plus y square plus z square power n by 2 into z into z right all values we have kept here now let us apply here uv rule now here differentiating with this see this r power n is first term and x is another term so let us apply here for first uv rule first of all i am solving this first equation this first equation let us focus on this right now therefore this del dot r power n vector r will be equal to c here let us treat as r power n as u therefore let us keep this u as constant which will be x square plus y square plus z square power n by 2 into derivative of this x derivative of x is 1 into 1 plus plus now we have to put second term constant that is x constant and derivative of this term therefore it will become x into derivative of this r power n that is x square plus y square plus z square power n by 2 now this power will come out and it, while differentiating see power will come out and the power will become negative minus 1 from power minus 1 we have to subtract first of all we have to differentiate for power and then i will go inside and differentiate for this x square plus y square plus z square with, re, with respect to x so it will become see power will come out n by 2 into x square plus y square plus z square and raised to power will subtract by 1 n by 2 minus 1 into again i have to go inside and i have to differentiate this function with respect to x therefore for this function with respect to x y square plus z square is constant therefore differentiation of y square plus z square will be 0 and derivative of x square will be 2x so i have to multiply with derivative of 2x square that is 2x right this is the complete derivation for first term now let us find the differentiation for second term similarly for second term similarly now for second term also what will be the differentiation plus here first term constant that is x square plus y square plus z square power n by 2 into derivative of y with respect to y will be 1 plus second term constant that is y second term constant plus differentiation of this first term which will become power will come out that is n by 2 into power will subtract by 1 x square plus y square plus z square power n by 2 minus 1 into now we have to go inside and we have to differentiate this function with respect to y therefore for y x square plus z square is constant therefore the derivative of x square plus z square is 0 and derivative of y square will be 2y therefore in multiplication there will be a 2y right this is a differentiation for this second term similarly we can project the result on third term let us differentiate this th third term right therefore for this th third term see 
plus here first this x square plus y square plus z square power n by 2 this is constant into derivative of z with respect to z is 1 plus z is constant now derivative of first term that is n by 2 into x square plus y square plus z square power n by 2 minus 1 into now go inside and differentiate this function with respect to z for z x square plus y square is constant only z square is variable therefore the derivative of z square will be 2z therefore into 2z now let us check here my dear students can you see here this term first term x square plus y square plus z square power n by 2 here it is in all the terms here it is in all the terms therefore this will become 3 times therefore if i write here is equal to 3 times of here x square plus y square plus z square power n by 2 plus now again see this 2 into 2 from here this 2 will get cancelled with this 2 here also 2 will get cancelled with 2 here also this 2 will get cancelled with this 2 right and from first and second see from all these terms this n is constant n then x square plus y square power n minus n by 2 minus 1 then here also n x square plus y square plus z square power n by 2 minus 1 here also n x square plus y square plus z square power n by 2 minus n uh, minus 1 this all we can take common and then only remaining is x into x that is x square here y into y y square z into z z square therefore if i take this common plus see n into x square plus y square plus z square power n by 2 minus 1 in bracket there will be x square plus y square plus z square this will be the remaining right now see my dear students the magnitude of vector r we have seen the magnitude of vector r is nothing but under root of it is nothing but under root of we can write magnitude of vector r which is nothing but under root of x square plus y square plus z square therefore if i take r square it will become x square plus y square plus z square now see here in all terms there is a x square plus y square plus z square x square plus y square plus z square x square plus y square plus z square let us replace all these with r square therefore what will be remaining therefore if i replace this with r square it will become 3 r square then r square power n by 2 right plus n here r square power now this power let us simplify it cross multiplication it will become n minus 2 by 2 it will become n minus 2 by 2 into r square into r square now let's simplify see here while multiplying the powers directly this square into 1 by 2 will get cancelled square into 1 by 2 will get cancelled right so the simplified version we will get 3 r power n plus n into c r power n minus 2 into r square right into r square therefore this divergence of r power n vector r we will get is equal to 3 r power n plus n in bracket r power n minus 2 into r square now these powers will get added therefore it will become 3 r power n plus n r power n therefore let us consider r power n common therefore this divergence of divergence of r power n vector r will be equal to here 3 plus n r power n right so the same result we have proven, proven here hence proved hence we can say proved now my dear students similarly they can ask you what is the divergence of r power say 1 vector r then simply n you have to replace with say 1 so remember this result it will become 3 plus say 1 r power say 1 which is nothing but 10 r power 7 right thank you dear students in next lecture we will see line integral